Good evening. Hello, hello. Drop me a comment if you are here. Hold on, let me figure out what I'm doing. Hi, everybody. It's me, Tracy. Hello there, it's been a while. Not much. How about you? Everything I own as far as um, phone and whatnot are dead. So uh, let me know. Hi, Polly over there on YouTube. Hi, Cassie. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Heather. Hi, Linda. Linda, was it you who I thought my order, the order was messed up and it wasn't? I hope it, I hope. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Hold on. I got to I got to jump on here. This is too heavy. This is too high. Okay. Hi everybody. Welcome to my studio. My name is Tracy Weinzapple. I am uh, charging my iPad. Hi Cecilia. Your order left today. Happy Wednesday. Okay, wrong. Oh, no. Linda Steffens. Linda S. Hi Linda Klein. <laughs> I feel like it was her. So my name is Tracy Weinzapple. You're in my studio. And um, Anne is here. Anne is here as my moderator, Tracy Weinzapple Studios. And say hi to everybody. And I am live in three places, four places. Number one. I'm live on my private Facebook page, which I don't normally do, but I had a lot of people tune in last week and said, I really didn't know you paid it. Okay. Number two, I am live on TracyWineSappleStudios.com. No, no, Tracy Winesapple Studios on Facebook. Ugh, I'm gonna turn my lighting on. Number two, number three, YouTube. Number four, Art Journaling for Beginners, which is my group, and I'm hoping that my people are there. So if you are new to painting, this is a place for you. If you're an amazing, brilliant painter, this is a place for you. There's a place for everybody. Hi, Mendez. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Anne. Thank you so much. Anne is here as Tracy Wines Apple Studios. So if you have any questions, let her know. Love the shirt and my earrings. Thank you. It's been one heck of a week. Um, let me know where you're tuning in from. Hello, got my earrings today and so cute. I can't wait to paint them. Wava, I feel like I feel like they just jumped from California to Texas. That's amazing. Um, thank you about the comment about my shirt. Sometime, uh, sunshine mixed with a little hurricane. Heather, you're in Oklahoma. Would you like me to sing? <laughs> Oklahoma. I was just on the phone with my good friend from Oklahoma because I'm teaching in Oklahoma City in less than a month. I'll be in Oklahoma for a month. And um, I asked my good friend, who's a gentleman, a man, is there any way I could ship my class supplies to you? Of which he accepted. Unfortunately, he's going to get 100 boxes <laughs> not to know what to do with them. Lisa said, hi there, I've been promoting your Wednesday nights and your artful journey the past two weeks to those looking to get started in art. Lisa Larson, how do I give you the biggest heart in the world? Um, Kathy is watching from Michigan. Kathy, I have one question for you. I ask everybody who's tuning in from Michigan, green and white or maize and blue? Green and white, maize and blue. Green and white, maize and blue. Hi, Barbara in Colorado, now in Florida. The reason I ask that is because I am a Spartan. 
anyway. All right, guys, let me tell you what I have going on. Okay. Kathy is now allowed to tune in. I'm a Midwest girl. I live in Southern California in San Diego, California. The reason I live in San Diego is because I grew up in the Midwest and the sun doesn't shine half the year. Now I live in San Diego. I like the sun. Diane said a former Buckeye. All right. Uh, Gina, thank you very much. I just put it up because I'm extremely hot. Um, Deb Trammell, your name just came up today. Uh, I was talking to my buddy Darvin. My buddy rhymes with Garvin uh, because I'm shipping all of my packages to him for Oklahoma. All right. So that's enough about uh, what we have going on tonight. New York order arrived today. Love the earrings, Jan, Christy. That's so nice. Jan, I think you ordered, so many people are ordering not one, not two, but like five to 10 unpainted. So thank you. If you guys are wondering what the heck I'm talking about, I created earrings to add to my ever loving load of stuff I have going on and I'm wearing them painted but there they are just cut out for you to paint they're on my website all right if you're new to uh Nat is it Nathalie or Nathalie Nath Nathalie Natalie Yours went out today, priority mail. Uh, Deb, yeah, he's going to get a thousand. I had to call and literally say, are you, do you have a girlfriend or are you married? Because I would like to send about 20 boxes to your house. Anyway, that's me. So uh, if anybody's interested, last call, my classes are nearly sold out in Oklahoma. And I have two with two make and takes and I'm bringing lots of stuff with me. So if you have any questions, you want to know about Oklahoma, I can give you that information. Um, also, I am wearing sunflowers for a reason, and I'm not going to like really talk about it, but I will talk about a little bit. Mark your calendars for my next art journal, art, not journal, my next art challenge. It's not art journal. It's not just, it is four projects in four days actually could be five i'm a little obsessed i'm growing sunflowers in my yard so if you like sunflowers if you like mixed media if you like art journaling you like painting on wood you like painting on canvas you want you're just getting started you've never picked up a paintbrush maybe you're a seasoned professional Maybe this is something you have never experienced with me. Instead of us doing one project broken down into four days, I'm going to do a different project every single day. Now, here's where the other fun comes into this. If you all know, I own a laser studio. I cut out my own surfaces. Deb, they just asked me to bring earrings. I don't know how I'm going to do what I'm at, what I'm going to be doing in the next couple of weeks. So this is an ex example of something I've cut out. Wood. Um, I will be selling a kit. And when I talk to my team about the kit... Uh, we started talking about a quantity. <laughs> and um, the kit. Now, that's not the project. I'm not sharing. I'll share some of it. But there is going to be a kit, and it's going to be four projects in four days. I don't care if at the end of the four days I pass out, it's going to be like the same. It's like something done four different ways. And I'm going to same supply list for four different days. And you're going to. Um, so I was talking to my team and I always think in quantities of double digits. 
um, I'm in the process now of thinking, uh, based on the number of people who have done my challenges in the past, I'm not doing anything special. So if you're wondering, I'm just going to tape down my art journal. Uh, Anne can attest to this. I literally had to think in my head, hmm, there'll be a limited quantity of kits. It's triple digits. And I'm not talking 100. I'm talking that now I am on the phone, email, ordering. Like, I want the boxes to be happy mail when you get them. So, you know, how am I going to make these boxes look great? And I'm a little nervous. I could be stuck with hundreds. Or we can just go for it. I'm going to go for it. And um, I'm in the process at minimum. I'm not going to talk numbers. I'm not going to talk numbers. I will do uh, what I can to make it happen. There'll be like a limited amount of them. When they sell out or I pass out, that will what is, is going to be what happens. However, let me talk about this real quick. If you don't want to order the kit and you still want to be participating, okay, you don't want to order the kit, there is going to be a complete tracer to cut it out. I made sure there's no fussy cutting. There's no excuses. It's straight lines. There's nothing crazy. You can cut it out in chipboard, make it in paper. You could do the project on an inexpensive canvas. Um, I've been on my team, uh, I've been on the phone with my team and talking about this. And I have wanted to do a, a, a box, a kit for as long as I can talk about. I'm not shipping paints. I will not be shipping paints. I will be using the same five or six colors plus black and white. I never include them. Most people have black and white. Um, you can do it in your art journal. You don't have to go buy anything more from this girl. Nothing. There's no obligation. The earrings are not included. But if you want to be wearing these earrings that week, fine by me. So um, I just want to tell you that that is coming. Mark your calendars for the dates we're doing it, September 11th through the 14th. Uh, there is no link. Becky said, can you put the link? There's no link yet. Nothing is out in the wilderness yet. I just designed everything because my team needs time. And I also have people right now who are in the laser studio. What's going to happen to this girl? And I'm going to just be honest. I own a business. I do. I'm a mom in pop shop. I have no pop. There's a mom. Um, I already talked to three of my girlfriends uh, over wine and food. Uh, we're going to set up an assembly line in my living room and I'm going to do this the old fashioned way. And uh, I wish Anne was flying out, but that's what's going to happen. Uh, so if any of my friends in Ramona want to step by uh, toward the end of uh, July or August, we'll have everything cut out. We'll just sit down. I'll have all the boxes. Everything will be ready. Stickers purchasing. And then we'll just watch the stickers flow out. And anything that happens in between that time, it's my problem. I'll figure it out. But that's what's coming up. Just so you know, nothing has been released. I just wanted to be honest. That's what's happening. I've already designed uh, everything. I'm going to finish. Um, I'm going to finish. I have, I want to make sure that you guys are like one project a day. So you can see four different surfaces and it's, that's it. All right. You know, it's one low cost. Cute earrings, by the way. They're in the shop. You can buy them unpainted or painted. I'm probably going to take them out of the shop. Oh, here, I'll show you. I'll show you painted. I'm going to take them out of the shop as painted. I don't want to be painting hundreds of these. This is not my business. I want you to be painting them. But here they are. And everything like this is recycled. This is the back of the art pads that I don't use. It's got my logo on it. So if you want to see them unfinished, don't buy them finished. I'm, I'm going to beg you right now. Please don't buy them finished. I really don't want to be painting hundreds. I've already painted uh, a half a dozen or two. No, a dozen. So that's not what we're doing. Okay. Oh, sorry. All right. Any other questions? I'm going to start painting. 
Um, so cute. Wow, the earrings are adorable. Great gift idea. Yeah. And by the way, if you want other ideas, so easy. So easy. And they're out of like scrap wood for me. When is the challenge? September 11th through the 14th. Calendar marked. You know what I was, okay, one other thing. Uh, by the way, every Wednesday is free. You just tune in. We're going to be working in watercolors. Let me wet those down. Let me, um, today we're going to be working in watercolors. Next week we'll do mixed media. Uh, So if you guys are wondering how scared I am at the moment of my business failing or flopping, uh, now's a good time to ask. That's uh, now is a great time. If you order anything too, I do try to ship within uh, the day or two. If I have to paint though, if I have to paint, that becomes a little bit more where, oh, are the backs of the earrings painted as well? <laughs> yes, they are. They're black. They're black. I don't want you to paint them. I, I don't want to paint them, though. Um, you can paint them, though, if you want. They just don't have the graphics on the back, but I just painted them black. But these are these are painted ones that are going out. Those are on my list to do, which I love them. Um, and they're hypoallergenic because I'm allergic to everything. If there's something to be allergic to, this girl is allergic to it. All right. Uh, let me set up my camera. Sorry, I have to flip this around. Okay, yeah, go ahead and order because that is fine with me. I got to flip this over. Set up my camera. My phone was dead. And yeah, I'm leaping, you guys. And by the way, if I'm left over with 5,000 kits, I'm left over with 5,000 kits. It wasn't, it was, some, it was a, it's a learning moment. I don't, I'm not, I'm going to do a limited amount. I already, that's it. Once they're gone, they're gone. That's it. No, if you're wondering what I do every Wednesday for free, there's no obligation. There's no signing up. You guys don't have to sign up to be here. These are watercolors. I'm going to use watercolors tonight because I have nothing planned in the docket. I'm just going to do this, and I'm going to take my water bottle while we're talking, and I was going to say lube up my watercolors, but why don't we say wet them all up? By the way, I am, you know, kind of leaping without looking, but it was pretty funny because I do have somebody who works in the laser studio and I said, hey, I'm thinking about doing this kit. How many do you think we would do? <laughs> the answer was 50 to 100. I'm going to let him believe that. I'm just going to say, keep cutting. One of the one of the pieces in there, there's going to be fifteen hundred of them. <laughs> it's gonna. I'm in the belief of asking for forgiveness, and then we'll roll from there. All right. So, um, to know me is to love me. Any questions before we get started? Thank you, Barbara Atwell. You have known me for a thousand years. If you guys are ordering right now, and you're ordering those earrings and I have to walk outside. I had to order. I had to order lots more backers. Um, I will ship them right away, but I did have to order. Barbara Atwell has known me forever and a day. How long, Barbara? If you know me for a long time and you know that I am leaping, it's I've been leaping for a long time. It's a good thing. All right. Hit record. Hit record. Hit record. Why is that crooked? Why would that be crooked? Why would this be crooked? All right. All right. So, uh oh, I do need to have this relatively flat. My volume went lower. Oh, let me just move up. Sorry about that. And I am just going to go to this seven years or so by the way uh this is a free demo and um i am tonight going to do like a wet on wet what does that mean 
I'm going to do wet watercolor paper. It could be mixed media paper and then oh, with wet watercolors, which I keep. It's so hot in this bloody room that I have to like keep so hot in San Diego. Oh, somebody said, hurry up and start. Hmm. I'll be done at the same time. It's going to relax. All right, y'all. Let's get started. Uh, set your intention. Uh, relax, paint, enjoy. And I'm going to wet my brush up. It's kind of a big, it's a zero quill brush. By the way, you can do this with a round brush. Nothing about what I do is hoity or toity. I am a dynasty brushed artisan. Can you guys hear me clearly? I am talking louder. Every Wednesday, I do a free demo, last half an hour or so. Yes, I get to talk in the beginning. It's my page and I'll talk if I want to. And then we're done within a half an hour. I do recap everything on my blog. Everything goes on YouTube. And um, there you go. So now... What are we going to do? Oh, so I gave this a nice layer. Hopefully I put this tape down tight enough because I realized this tape isn't that great. Thank you, Anne. All right. I am going to draw a flower. Big surprise. And for those of you who say, I don't like watercolors because I can't control them. Well, I hate to break it to you, but for the most part, we can't control anything. Oops, I just keep mixing into different colors. Okay, you can mix into different colors. You could actually go and take a completely different color, like throw some purple in there. All right. Let it go. Let it go. We can't control anything, right? We've decided that. And just throw some black in the middle of that. Just see where it goes. What does it do? I'm going to do the same thing with like a bright yellow. It's okay. We're mixing colors. We're fine. We're still fine. We're letting it go. Let it travel a little bit. Kind of want to fit a third one in here because I like threes. Oops. So let's go down here. Oh, I thought that was going to be orangey or orange. I always love when people say, I can't use watercolors because I can't control them. I always want to say to them, what are we really in control of? And if you think or you are totally in control of your life, my golly, give me the secret. We're just dumping. Oh, why am I? Uh oh. Okay, my iPad. If you're in art journaling for beginners, I am sorry. I literally cannot see you because uh, my iPad just decided to go dead. I don't know why. Ooh. Now, if it gets too wet and you're like, oh, I don't want all that to run together, just dry off your brush. Okay, I'm going to dry my brush off. Yes, I'm going to dry my brush off. And dry it off. You can contain things. You can pull it back in. You have some control, not a lot. Watercolors follow water. So awesome. I just love that those who try to control have no control. This is from a girl who has complete OCD and thinks she controls everything. Just let it go. Now I'm going to come in with a green, just mix a couple of greens and just throw it in. It's 
as we get closer to September, I'll have more morning announcements. So I will cue everybody in so you don't miss whatever we're doing. But uh, in essence, see, I'm just drying off my brush and I'm saying, stay there. You stay there. You stay there. But do I have any control over it? Nada. Just try this off and enjoy. Enjoy the process. That's it. That's, that's all I got for you. Oh, I just really went into another green. I'm just, I want to. I kind of want green in this. Wherever I can get it, I'm going to take it. Who's painting with me tonight? That's another thing I want you to do. Get your brushes out and just paint. Let it go. It's only a piece of expensive watercolor paper. Nope, that's not the answer. It's only a piece of paper. Okay. Kind of contained it, kind of didn't. Who cares? There we go. We're done. Class is over. I need to let this dry for a minute. I'm just going to watch it. And no, I don't normally use expensive watercolor paper. This is my, thank you. I love it when, who's a member of your artful journey where you hear me say this every single day? By the way, your artful journey, we are live on Friday morning together. So be thinking about what you would like to do with me in our 20 minute session. I really don't want to touch this. I kind of like it. I mean, do you see something that's forming? I think a lot of people, let me just come over here. I think a lot of people with watercolors try to control it. And it gets a little upsetting. Uh-oh, I don't want that. Okay. I think it gets a little upsetting when you um oh man why is that dead oh here i'll do this um it's a little upsetting when you can't control where the water goes and the watercolors but that's the most freeing part of this is just letting go and letting the watercolors do it do its thing all right so doesn't have to be expensive water oh i'm wearing half of them they do not have to be expensive watercolors. I could do the same thing. I could do the same thing with a set of praying watercolors. And people have seen me do it, and I do it over and over again. So if you tell me I don't have the right watercolors, go out, go borrow your kids' watercolors, and then come talk to me. That's it. Is a paintbrush, wait, is a paintbrush a paintbrush, or are there watercolor and acrylic? Thank you. Uh, so Vicki? Yes, there are. Uh, I understand your question. So there are brushes that are specifically made for watercolors. I am using one that I would not use in my acrylics. This is my Dynasty uh, Water Lily brushes. I have them in this container right here. They're pink or salmon color. So these I would not put in my um, acrylics. However, that does not matter. You can use a, a multi-purpose brush and or um, so sometimes um, like uh, I am only speaking from the dynasty world. They make brushes that are multi-purpose. Um, but when you have a brush that's meant for watercolors, it holds more water. The bristles are different. The, it takes on a whole different feel. I could do the same thing with an eight. I could do an, a painting with an eight inch round Multi-purpose brush that I can with a watercolor brush. Don't tell, but there's nothing like a watercolor brush. All right. I just want you guys to know I'm not a snob about that. But yeah, there are many differences. And um, and then uh, I'm not an oil painter. So any of you who work, use, any of you who work in oils, uh, that's not my forte. This is a heat gun, not a, a hair dryer. I'm just going to speed up the process. Yeah, if you work in watercolors, having a watercolor brush just changes your little world. And I'll admit that. Remember when I'm here on a Wednesday night, it's a free demo. 
less than 30 minutes, we're done. So for those of you who don't like the morning announcements and the chit chat in the beginning, tune in at 6.45, 5.45, tune in at 6.45. No, it's nothing going on. Um, but everything I do is available on my YouTube channel, on my blog, on my Facebook page. I probably, if you want, could send a homing pigeon your way. All right. Is there a particular size or sizes of watercolor brushes that are most use useful? Yes. In my opinion, Leslie, this is an artist, uh, a, probably, a, I don't even know if I call myself an artist. Artistic is a stretch. Here's the thing. I love a great round watercolor brush. I love a great round, or sorry, I love a great round brush, four, six, and eight. I could pretty much do everything with a four, six, and eight round brush and a liner brush. Um, if you wanted to add something to that mix, that would for be for me would be a dagger brush. And I don't deep dive here. I do this with your Artful Journey members. We probably need to do a lesson in brushes um, with a dagger brush. And hold on. I don't know if I, I'm so hot. Uh, 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 hold on. This is a pretty good example. Oh, why am I holding it there? Here. Like a dagger brush, it also has a point to it, so I can do a lot with it. But for me... Because I want people to know you don't have to go out and buy a bunch of expensive supplies. My whole thing is use what you have. Most people have paintbrushes. Most people have watercolors. Most people have a lot of things laying around their house. And I encourage you to use them. Okay, art journaling for beginners peeps. I'm coming back. And for those of you who say, I'm sorry, uh, you are not giving me what I need because you're going to a lot of different places. I just... I'm for some people. I'm not for everybody. <laughs> All right. So I want this to dry. Same thing with paper. And we can talk about paper. Now, the paper I'm using is 100% cotton watercolor paper. I can do the same thing on a mixed media piece of paper, but it flows differently. And I just want to set everybody up. Also, I don't want to blow budgets. I feel like when somebody says, oh, my God, I have to get a new hobby. And now all of a sudden it costs me a lot of money and it becomes not as fun. Um, two, uh, I will say the next thing I'm going to use is a permanent black marker. You can do a Sharpie fine and ultra fine. I love my Molotov um, black liners. They're permanent. Uh, they come in 11 tips. I sell them. Don't get mad. But you can do a Sharpie, fine and ultra fine. It'll do you just as good. You can get them at Home Depot. Okay? Don't get mad at me. All right. You're welcome, Leslie. Thank you for the questions. I welcome them. All right. So we have some pretty flowers formed. Or do we? Or do we not? Let's find out. Hold on. It's still wet. I used a lot of water in the beginning. As you up your game and you discover what you like or don't like, that's the thing about being an artist or, you know, using art, artist supplies, you can go out and buy the moon and back. But I just want you to use them. So use what you have. Pick out something and say, okay, and can I do this in acrylics? Yeah, I can do this in acrylics too. I want you to be able to do it with me. All right. This is, this is how she paints. All right. You're wondering, how does she know where the petals are? Does it matter? But yeah, I do have a resources guide. Uh, oh, thank you, Anne. Oh, my God. Now, I don't know what's happening over here. I don't know what's happening here. Sometimes the watercolors tell me, do you notice how I'm sketching? And it's kind of, I'm sure there's artists out there going, what is she doing? And why is she holding her? I do my art for relaxation. 
and other purposes, obviously. So let's see. Oh, this is like huge. Okay, let's just do this. Wash through this. Let's do this. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. How do you know the difference between a watercolor brush and an acrylic brush? One thing I always do, go to the manufacturers, and I know you are, even if you're shopping your box stores, rhymes with Schmeichel's or Schmobby Hobby. Um, that was a bad rhyme. Uh, they do indicate their brushes by differences. I go to the manufacturers and yes, there are different types of bristles, different types of hair. Oh my God. I learned so much. I really want to go just travel to dynasty, go to dynasty brush, dynasty brush and go in there. Um, go to, uh Oh, Never use your permanent markers to go on wet paper because they don't get along. So you might have to do this to reactivate them. Uh, and go and look. Uh, I do stay away from oil brushes. I don't know anything about them. So don't get mad at me. I would actually just prefer you don't get mad at me. Because we're not there yet. To know me is to love me. To know me is to hate me. Yeah, always go. Now, if you're going to um, Schmeichel's or Schmabby Hobby, okay, I think I just took that through water. It'll come back. If you do that, um, they do sell all purpose. Like, it covers everything. It works on everything. Uh, my dad had a saying. Uh, my dad had the saying, the right tool for the right job. So. Um, Know that those all-purpose everything's in bundles of whatever that leave hair all over the whatever, those aren't going to perform the same as a brush that you're proper. Oh, I have a brush guide, too, that shows how to take care of your brushes. Now, yes, I am just, I am just relaxing and letting the paints tell me what to do. We're okay with this. We're having fun. And next week we'll be working in acrylic. So I really work with watercolors and I, well, oh God, slip. I work with water-based uh, products, acrylics. Yes, that's water-based. I use oil pastels every now and again. And I just, To me, this is very therapeutic, just to know I can just play. I am not a therapist. I have many a year with a therapist. Not anymore. I kind of wish, but no. I'm going to up my game. I'm going to up my... Now I'm just going up. And now I'm just saying, okay, we're just going to... We're going to find the fun. You're going to work. It's ugly. I get it. So if you're tuning in midway and you're like, that is so ugly. I wouldn't want to do it. I get it. I'm not your people. You're going to have to work through the ugly stage. But keep going and realize this is just a piece of paper. We're doing this for the 30 minutes of fun. I have many friends who are plain air, amazing watercolorists who cannot relaxed or do whatever and they know everything about everything i'm just a mom with three kids uh i'm divorced i am an artist and i make money doing this so for those of you who want to follow your dream please do it it's the best thing i ever did but remember oh there we go and three guys my god and then what you need to do is find an Anne in your life who is just going to be there to send the paddles as you need it. But 
And my art isn't for everybody. Somebody says, I, I've been asked, do you only paint flowers? The answer is no, your artful journey. We're doing um, dragonflies this month. Who is enjoying that as much as I am? I want to do it for the next 17 days. Oh, this is going to be something bigger. But I like to come on here every Wednesday. I like to relax with people. And I like to teach you that you don't have to have an art degree to have fun in art. Oh, there we go. I love that. I had, I'll show you my art piece. I loved the other night. I thought that was the best thing. Now, if in doubt, dot it up. I'm still scribbling, so we're not off key here. Uh, your Artful Journey members get to drive what we're doing, so they're the drivers of everything I do. And I do want to know who's painting tonight because I know it, I notice it gets considerably more silent as I move, uh, go on. I'm going to up this even further. How much time do we have? We have another 15 minutes. And if I go over, it's my timing and I will go over. Oh, good. Polly is painting with me on YouTube. Oh, I feel like these need to be darker and they almost need to be white. You know what? There has to be white in here. Does anybody think there has to be white in here? Oh. Oh, there's so much, like, this is so much in here. Oh, I know what I'm going to do on there. I do have to tell you, when I do mail the kits, um, Anne is going to get the first kit because I need to make sure that it's all going to look good. Anne, with earrings. Don't worry if that's not perfect. She's getting, she's gonna go out first. I'm gonna make that my first label. Oh, Denise, uh, YouTube said, please, yes, white. Okay, I got it, I heard it. I heard it here. Now, I'm wondering if I should just take out, most people have, um, most people have like an archival, like an, uh, a stamp pad. Now, I don't, you can use a makeup sponge. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to use, I use the same stencil brush that I've used from Dynasty for this whole. So I'm going to go in here and just darken this up here. Like I'm going dark. And then I'm going to come in with some acrylic white paint. Do we have leaves? What's happening over here? Leaves? No leaves. Leaves or no leaves? Just I'll just put that out to vote. Because I do like a good white contrast. I'm looking for white paint. I know I got it. I'm looking for white paint, baby. Because I got an idea if there's no leaves, I have an idea. For those of you who wonder, oh, God, I got to stand up now. I got to stretch. Stretch arm strongness. I went to the gym this morning and I'm a little stiff. Um, okay, here we go. So this I'm going to do that. So for my control people, it's the back of my paintbrush. Okay. It's, it's not a special anything. Back of my paintbrush. I could paint a whole, I, somebody needs to challenge me to paint an entire painting with the back of my paintbrush and I'm probably going to do it. 
I'm just gonna look up in the majority rules. I'm not gonna. Uh, it's time to name this painting because every week I do a painting and it goes on my blog, it goes on Facebook, it goes on my YouTube channel, and I use the name that you guys supply. Now there you go. Now that's fun, right? Oh, I don't want to. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, hold on. I need a post-it note. Sorry, I'm looking for a post-it note. And I have one. I like to use the one that the realtors give me because I don't care. We haven't decided about leaves or no leaves, but I want to leave the green as virgin -y as possible. I don't want a bunch of splatters, so don't. Ramona Real Estate, you're getting some coverage right now. I apologize. Here comes the sun. Doo, 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 doo. Uh oh. Well, my air conditioner just came on. I'm kind of feeling no leaves too, but okay. I live in Ramona, so the Ramona Real Estate is getting the coverage right now. And don't worry, we're not done. I still have 23 minutes. I can do vines. Let's see. You guys can take this 10, st 10 steps further than this girl. I'm going to take some black paint and white paint. Maybe just the black or maybe just the white because I can't find the black. Oh, here it is. I just covered rudimentary. Oh, I don't want to be wiping up my paint surface tonight. So let's do this. I want black and white. So what Anne does is she collects the names for me because I hate naming my art pieces. It's just a thing I don't want to do. Uh, black first. Let's do black first. I'm wetting it down a little bit. It just goes on easier. Normally I do this toward the end, but I, I want to see. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that's not good. Here comes the sun. Do, do, do. Here comes the sun. I say it's all right. Ba -da 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 -dum. Okay. I love me a good fan brush with a little bit of water. Oh, rinse that off. White. Boo -do 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 -do. Boo -do 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 -do. Why are you not splattering? Hold on. I must I have to sing a song. Name a song so I can sing it while this is happening. The white needs a song. I had here comes the song for the black. Name a song, I'll sing it. Oh God. Name a song, I'll sing it. Mm, I don't have a song in my head. <gasps> Buttercup. Hold on. I'm stumped. Oh, my goodness. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas in the middle of July when it's a thousand degrees where the palm trees are sweating and children are complaining and wanting their electronics. Okay, perfect. This is perfect. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I need to tell you guys, I usually need Broadway or country. Okay. I have three kids. <laughs> They're all... 21 and above, but all right. So we just added a little bit of something, something. Didn't really want it where the imaginary leaves are not going. I wonder if, um, if a Ramona real estate is going to contact me and thank me for their partnership. <laughs> no 
for those of you who said, oh my God, you lost the validity of the, the middle of the flower and the whatever of the flower. Oh my God, Sandy just said fun shine. Oh, okay, so, oh, 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 don't, oh, don't, oh, don't pull up my painter's tape. Painter's tape, isn't that sticky? Look at, good. However, I sometimes wonder if Anne's in the background going, oh my God, what is she doing? All right. So all you got to do is make sure everything's dried off and just come back in it to win it. Okay. And you just come back in. You just do a little dazzly do. You go right over the white. Oh, I love it. it. That just, that little bit of... I still wish I had a little bit more. Okay. I'm going to make this a little bit more darker. Do you realize the more relaxed you are, the more relaxed your painting is? And if, I mean, I'm sure somebody said to Dr. Seuss as he was painting, um, Horton hatches a who. Relax, man. Okay. Now, I pretty much love this. I'm happy. But I know for those of you who really want the green leaves, and don't worry, I do share all of my supplies. I give you links and whatnot. Oh, look at that. I hit all my three goals. Okay. I'm going to take that same brush, archival ink. I have seven minutes. Peeled paint. Okay, you feel the need that you got to have like a, well, hopefully, hopefully this um, tape held the edge. If it didn't, it's okay. I could doodle in here. I'm not going to, but I'm just going to, I'm just going to give the aura of a lot more going on in that green. It's nice to add a little dimension. Okay, and then. My final, I'll add a few more. I, I see a few more things. But I said 30 minutes of painting. I oh, meant 30 minutes of painting. My goodness. Sometimes, sometimes we reach brilliance. Sometimes we are mediocre. And sometimes I just have so much dang fun. It doesn't matter where I'm at. All right, I'm going to grab this pen again. I'm just going to like come in here and the negative, like right here. Like the, what am I supposed to do between the flower petals? Well, just give them a little wackadoo, like just a little. Like, oh. Okay. I'm not going to overthink this. As I'm overthinking this, I'm going to come in and I'm going to grab, well, I'm going to grab that same pen. I'm going to hope that my paint, painter's tape, did the job it was supposed to and protected the edge. But this paper is very textured and this gentle or delicate painter's tape sometimes has a life of its own. Don't worry, I got a fix for everything. I'm just going along the tape, and if it ain't perfect, if it's not perfect, ain't. Shame on me. If it all bled underneath the tape, uh, I'll be fine. All right. Are we ready for the big reveal? It's 625. I finished five minutes early. Did I paint the Mona Lisa? No, I didn't. Did I paint something that made my heart incredibly happy? Yes, I did. Did I paint something that hope hopefully you learned something? And I got one, for, one more thing to add because, you know, I have imperfections. I am imperfect. I don't know, though. 
Oh, I'm, I'm heating up that painter's tape because sometimes, see how that paper just really wants to bind to it? Put a little heat on it. Just like you put a little heat on me. Look at that. Ah, I don't even know if I want to do anything to this. I don't. Somebody tell me paint brushes down. I don't know. I... Mm. Mm. Ugh. I'm putting my paintbrush down. I decided. I could do a nice little squiggly and perfect. No, I. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. T. Oh, that's awfully thick. Hold on. That's awfully thick. That's awfully thin. T. Tea wine's apple with a heart. All right, you guys. Huh. So tonight, I'm going to get close to the microphone. Tonight, we did wet on wet. <laughs> what does that mean? Wet paper, wet watercolors. We let the watercolors do their thing. And for those of you who like to stay in the lines, I'm an out of lines kind of gal. I hope you enjoy it every Wednesday. I do a free live demo. Um, I post this to Tracy Winesaffle Studios, my YouTube channel, uh, Art Journaling for Beginners, and if you're lucky, I'll put a little note on a homing pigeon and send it your way. I just want to thank you for the opportunity to do what I love. And hopefully you learned something. And just remember that it's not really about like what we were painting tonight. It was just letting it go, making a daily practice of art and doing something creative every day. Love it. See you in Oklahoma. Deb Trammell, I'm so happy to hear that. If you are wondering, Oklahoma is called OKC Painting Palooza. I will be there. My classes are nearly sold out. I just capped them off because I only have so many ugh, teaching two amazing classes. I can't wait. And then I'm doing two make and takes. These colors make me happy, Connie said. Thank you. And again, don't forget to mark your calendars for September 11th through the 14th. It doesn't matter if you can be there live. Everything is recorded. And just uh, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for allowing me to do what I love so much and sharing it with you guys. Thank you, Anne. Um, hopefully Anne got a couple of those comments down. I will pick, uh, I love it every week when somebody messages me and says, oh my God, I, you picked the name that I thought. I usually take a few pictures, but I didn't really make a mess tonight. So I feel really good about that. I'll talk to you guys all soon. Oh, somebody asked me what my shirt says. Sunshine mixed with a little hurricane. There you go. I'm a little matchy matchy. These were the shoes I had on too. <laughs> I painted these before this. There you go. Okay. Um, any other questions before I go? I just want to thank you guys. And remember, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Thank you so much and have a wonderful evening. Talk to you soon.